It's now afternoon at Dismal River, and with Dirt's Buffalo successfully on the ground, it's now time for Todd to get behind the trigger. After the morning when, uh, when Dirk had uh, taken his buffalo with his bow, we kind of went back to that same area and uh, we ended up glassing some elk um, from a distance. One of the bulls that we seen was the one I knew that uh, we needed to go after for Todd. It was the management bull we had talked about. One of his antlers was growing out more the side of his head than normal. So because of that reason, he's never, we would never get taken as a trophy bull elk. We spent a good time just kind of glassing and then we had to figure out a play to to, to get up and make a shot on him. I really wanted to get him out of the herd. He's a really aggressive bull. I know for a fact that, that bull has gored two of my other bulls, and who knows how many he's gored that I don't know about. Todd's looking for meat in the freezer. We don't normally do our hunts this time of year, but it's perfect for a football player like Todd, who's real busy in the fall. It helps my management program out to get that bull out of the herd. So when we seen that bull, I knew that I needed to mark that location and try to get that bull before he moved out of that area. We knew that, you know, maybe Maybe if they would still keep working in the same direction that they were going in, that you know they would come back up one of the other hills, and we might have a chance to uh, to make a shot on them. We were able to get fairly close to the bull, but we couldn't see. We didn't have a shot opportunity. We could just see the top of his antlers. What ended up happening? He was bedded down, and he was kind of towards the the top of a well, of another hill. So we actually had to work our way around behind him, and we we're going to try to you know get up on top. Um, where we could get an area to, uh, to make a good shot on him. He went at us, he blew out of there. I was pretty sure it was that bull from the characteristics of his antlers. And after a closer look, we confirmed that it was him. John was like, you know, hey, you know, he's taken off. Let's try to make a shot on him. Todd ended up making a heck of a shot at 465 yards. I knew that he was capable of making that shot cleanly and efficiently, and that's exactly what he did. Elk kind of turned back and, and was looking right at us, and uh, he was broadside. And I just felt really comfortable about, about taking a long range shot on this elk, and uh, was able to make a good shot on him, and uh, you know, we, uh, we ended up uh, getting him. That hit him. Nice shot, there he's going down. He's dipping. Yeah. 465 yards. There he went. Down. Nice job. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Man. I put my coat back on. Yeah, done. man. All right. I think I'm ready. Todd was really pleased, you know. He just couldn't believe that that was a management bull on our place, that that was a bull that I needed to, uh, to take out of the herd for management purposes. He said, John, this is a trophy in my mind. And where that bull was aggressive, it worked out perfect. And, and Todd's pleased he's got a trophy, but uh, more importantly, he's got some excellent elk meat in the freezer to, to last him until next fall. <laughs> Todd, we appreciate you coming, buddy. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Great job, man. I'll tell you, it was a great shot. Everything about it was really good. I'm sorry John didn't treat you all like that. <laughs> uh, he's, he's used to that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, we didn't get that tackling each other on tape, but you know, maybe there'll be a well, little chance. Maybe we'll get it later. We'll get it right <laughs> <back> <laughs> <that> real quick. <laughs> well, maybe Dirt spoke a little too soon on that one. What do you think about these diamond gussets? <laughs> <laughs> diamond gussets right there. <laughs> <laughs> With our extracurricular activities now out of the way, it's time to head back to the ranch. But on the way, something catches John's eye. Find out why everyone is heading back into the field when Hunting University returns. This segment brought to you by 1-800-Insurance.com. The power to save starts today.